For this, the second in our Lenten videos on food, fasting and justice, we'll be taking a trip to Strathmore Road Methodist Church on a Monday morning when something called the Pickle Palace Market takes place. You'll see me interview Marie, Musa and Keith who help to run the market and will explain everything we need to know about it. Then we'll hear from our very own Natalie Clark who will help us reflect on where we see the Kingdom of God at work. Hello Marie, um, will you tell me a bit about what happens here on a Monday? Yeah, um, the local shops give work um, food and um, bread, tins of stew to make a good healthy meal. That's amazing Marie, and I know that you're a church member here and you live in the local community. What does this market mean to you? Well it means that people around here can um, feed their children and the children are not starving and people can feed themselves and not do without. Because there's a lot of mothers who don't feed themselves and give it to their kids. Mm. Thank you. And if there was anyone watching this who wasn't sure whether they should come or not on a Monday and like and buy stuff from the market, what would you say to them? I would say yes, come down, come and have a chat, um, come and talk to us, um, and and fill their bags, and it's all lovely. Tell me why this market is important. Uh, actually, uh, we come every Monday uh, here uh, uh, to help the people. And, uh, actually, I have a car, you know, and uh, I bring food uh, from Marathon, like uh, from the shops to, to here. To be, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, you know, for that. Yeah. Yes. Hello Keith. Hi. So this market used to be in a different building but is now in the very snazzy refurbished yeah, Strathmore Road yeah, Methodist yeah. Church. Will you tell me about your dreams for having it here in yeah, the future? Yeah, yeah. Well I was sad to leave the community centre because I do think this sort of activity should be based in the community but of course the church is the community and is part of the community so it's good to be in this building. The other great thing about being here is with, we've got much better facilities, we've got a kitchen we can use, we've got another smaller hall we can in due course serve tea, coffee, maybe even cook some food with with this, uh, have a have a cafe. We've also got facilities in due course to provide additional services, maybe um, support services, maybe debt advice, counselling services, we think we're getting citizens advice to come and do a drop-in session, that sort of thing. So having the larger room and the better facilities Gives us the um, gives us broader opportunities to do more things and expand on what we're already doing. Hello, Southwest Tyneside Circuit. At the end of last year, I spent some time volunteering at the Pickle Palace Market on most Mondays between October and December. And during that time, I've been reflecting on how I've seen the kingdom of God at work in so many different ways there. And I'm going to share those reflections with you now. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, starting as the smallest of seeds, yet slowly growing up to become the largest of all plants. It is like the small, simple actions of those who run the Pickle Palace Market. The church and the community working together to redistribute delicious waste food from supermarkets. It is by caring for the world and in trying to reduce food waste. Allowing healthy food to be rescued and enjoyed by people or animals and not left to rot.
the kingdom of God is like the largest of all plants in which all of the birds of the air can rest together. It is like the weekly conversations and growing and developing friendships from those who attend and those who help out at the markets. It is through all being welcome, nobody being excluded. The Pickle Palace is open to everyone. The Kingdom of God is like the branches of the plant that provide shelter and the seeds that give nourishment and sustain. It is through providing healthy food for anyone at all in need. Delivering weekly bags to those who are shielding to allow people to stay safe at home. The kingdom of God is like a mustard tree, which keeps on growing season after season. It is a present reality. It is happening here and now and each day. It is a taster for what is to come. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, starting as the smallest of all seeds, yet slowly growing up and becoming the greatest of all shrubs with large branches so that the birds of the air can make their nests in it. The kingdom of God is. Amen. Huge thanks to Natalie for showing us where the kingdom of God is at work in our communities and in the Pickle Palace market. And thanks also to Marie and Musa and Keith for taking us on a tour of the market. My challenge for you this week is to pray that we might see, first and foremost, the kingdom of God flourishing in our communities. But I also challenge you to see or find out if there is a waste food market near you. The Pickle Palace doesn't just operate out of Strathmore Road Methodist Church, it also operates in Greenside and Chopwell and there are similar initiatives in Winlayton and Bladen and Bencham. So go check it out, see how you can get involved in something that not only makes us more ethical consumers but also embeds us in the communities in which we live and worship. Until next week, God bless.